Kia ora, good afternoon. Samoan rugby giant Peter Fatialofa is being laid to rest today. The former Manu Samoa captain, who died suddenly last week, was farewelled by a thousand strong crowd last night, and his funeral has been held this morning. One news reporter Stephen Stewart knew Peter Fatialofa well, and he joins us now live from Monaco. Yes, thanks very much. Uh, closer to 2,000 people here for the public service, which started just after 10 o'clock. Be wrapping up shortly. In fact, just moments ago, his former teammates sang uh, Peter's favourite song, We Are Samoa. Uh, look, you could hear a pin drop. Just the, the emotion was unbelievable. His wife, Anne, spoke and s told some funny stories about the births of their eight children. It's very funny and poignant tales. Who's who from around the world today? A former coach of his from counties flew in from Fiji. A nephew, a former All Black, flew in from France. A who's who of Auckland rugby. Politicians, three knights here today. Uh, Sir Michael Fay, Sir Graham Henry, Sir Peter Leach, and a host of speakers, among them the High Commissioner from Samoa, Tommy Scanlon. He was a big chief with an even bigger heart. He was a legend, an icon, a leader, and a symbol and humble man. He loved his rugby, his family, his mates, his country, and the Samoan people. And many of uh, Fats' former teammates are just filing up behind me now. They're on their way to the cemetery where, as his body is being lowered uh, to its final resting place, his teammates will perform the Siva Tau, their, their challenge. And I can tell you that will be an unbelievable moment. A fantastic fellow. I knew him for 22 years and he would have loved the send off today. As John Hart, his former coach, told me as he was leaving, Fats would have laughed at all the, all the fuss being made of him, but he deserved it.